let's go. Hi guys, how are you doing? Good. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Good. Can you just go around and introduce who you are and what your role is within the production? Um, I'm Camilla, I wrote the play and I'm the co-artistic director of Heavy Weather Theatre, which is one of the productions. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, great. I'm Sarah uh, Meadows, I directed the show and also uh, co-artistic director of Duck Down Theatre and we collaborated with our companies to make the piece. Brilliant. I'm Jessica and I play Lucy Fuller. Oh, right, cool. And I'm Rosalind and I'm producing Why's Little Bird to Go. Brilliant. So how are you guys doing so far? Have you started running yet or...? We started performing the show. No, we had our tech last night. It's quite a late oh, tech. Right, okay. Just the coffee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it went really well. We feel in a really good place, and we 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 open tonight. So. Right. Yeah. So tell yeah. us a little bit about the show itself. Um, it's a one-woman play about uh, based on a true story about a girl who worked as a nightclub hostess in the 60s London and got kidnapped by the Cray Twins. Mm -hmm. um, it's a solo piece. It's got lots of music in it and movement. It's um, sort of. Yeah, it's based loosely on a true story, but okay. I don't, yeah, it's not a, a documentary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you actually won a competition or something, is that right? The way that me and Sarah met, uh -huh. when I had just started writing about two and a half years ago, I won a short play competition that Sarah was running. Oh, brilliant. And then she's just had to have me in her life ever since. <laughs> <laughs> I was like part of the rules. <laughs> So you incorporate a lot of music and dance and acting within the performance. How much of each thing is in it? Would you call it sort of a more, is it kind of musical or is it more based on acting? I'd say it's a play with music. Play with yeah. music, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. So have you all been working together for long or is this your first production with each other as a sort of a whole group? Yes. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, we've been doing Birds for like a year now. Uh -huh. this, the first run was last August yeah. um, and Jess has been in the play since then yeah, yeah. Oh, right, right. and Rosie came on board about February March, yeah January February year? time yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and yeah now they're all under our yeah. control <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like you've had to evolve it a lot since you were doing it before last time do you feel like it's changed a lot and you've had to adapt or yeah. absolutely you, you know as soon as it's what it's a kind of piece with most solo yeah. shows as soon as you get it in front of an audience where you're telling them a story um, you, you learn loads about it so we learned a lot during the, the sharings we've had so far and, yeah. and each time and I'm, I imagine well de definitely over this festival we're going to be developing things and changing things because nothing's yeah. ever ever ready and it's uh, it's about kind of moving forward with it and making sure we're always pitching everything in the right way to, uh, to tell the story in the right way. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So what would you say are the major sort of themes and issues that you address within the play? Um, sexual exploitation, uh, the telling of women's stories throughout history, I suppose, is one of the themes. Um, sexual violence, also good themes like music. <laughs> and, um, you know, 60s London, which is yeah. in itself quite an interesting world. Um, yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I think the story is one of like survival and the idea of, of um, uh, you know, a lot of people most people have limited options and kind of the things you have to do to survive and what's so beautiful about the play that Camilla's written is Lucy's character is in, inherently positive and she she survives and she makes things work and she, she yeah. moves forward so there's something really um, which I think a review picked up on is something very uplifting about about um, about her story really. She's, um, she's very strong yeah. yeah and she's it's an experience of her learning and understanding maybe what has happened to her in her past and looking into the future. The possibility, the possibility of change. Of change. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so what do you want your audiences to take away from this show? It's an interesting question. I'd really like yeah. to like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not important, yeah. I think going, going back to the themes that are just being talked about yeah. there, it's, uh, it's definitely a timeless piece yeah. in terms of the themes that address mm, in terms yeah. of female mm. or women's experience in the UK, internationally, across yeah. the world. Um, and I think, you know, the era it's set in, the story it tells, or the um, scenario that it's sort of set in with the craze mm -hmm. is definitely one that has been traditionally told by men or about men or focused on the man's story. Yeah. Um, and this brings, you know, brings an unheard female voice kind of to the yeah. forefront. Um, and, and, and within that context, that's why it's really exciting and kind of timeless and current piece, despite being yeah. a kind of period piece. Mm, yeah. Um, because you know it's 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 experiences that are happening or have especially happening especially yeah. in the world now yeah. um, and again I guess that ties in with the positivity as well yeah, but that's really think, yeah. you know broadly, yeah. it's about strength. the manipulation of of, um, of 
people owned by others in power really and yeah. people's dreams in there and, and the kind of and that can happen to anyone yeah especially <laughs> at the moment absolutely people yeah, this absolutely. government people <laughs> play, <laughs> people playing with aspirations yeah, yeah. that's yeah. A, and that's inherently what when people lots of people when they watch it they have felt you know that yeah. they have been had a similar situation where they felt yeah I've felt like that I've looked up and thought mm, I don't know how this is going to work out yeah whatever so yeah that's all there Right. Well, thank you so much for coming and speaking to us, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> You've been watching Waffle TV, sponsored by Bulmers.